Hello there. Today I received my new Xiaomi e camera. Let's go and unpack it. Here we go with my e camera. It comes in like that in such a package, size wise, relatively small. Let's open it. In there, get the camera right away. Packed like this. What do we have in the package? Get it out. We have a menu. My menu seems to be all the way in Chinese. But there's nothing to worry because I bought the camera in China. Um, there's a USB cable. Fortunately, the same one that comes with my mobile phone and not those bigger, uh, what's that called, micro USB that comes with a GoPro. Here is a battery. Check out the battery. So the battery has 1100 milliampere hours. So that's pretty much similar to the GoPro, right? 1050 that's the old one and that's 1180 that's the new one so this one here has somewhere in between actually lower lower than the old GoPro Hero 3 battery those are Hero 3 batteries here um, the door unfortunately is similar to the GoPro 3 the GoPro 4 door which comes from below is much better I think um, I hate this when I go diving I have uh, I lose this door it's not very nice um, here we got the connectors wow another problem same problem like the GoPro you will lose that faster than you can think what do we have here USB, HDMI and card slot. Let's plug in a card. Okay. Should we close it? Better we close it, otherwise it will be lost on the first day. A Wi-Fi button, on off button and shooting button. So let's remove the Papers. Right. Good. Shall we switch it on? Let's see what happens. Purple or pink? Pink, purple, something in between. Okay, <laughs> I compare the e camera with the GoPro Hero 3 camera we can see size wise the Hero is slightly smaller it's a tiny bit smaller and um, and also a tiny bit slimmer just a tiny and let's say in length it's also Hero is also a slightly little bit shorter. So the big question is, does it fit, for example, in the dive house? So let's grab a dive house. This is actually the Hero 3 dive house and uh, it wouldn't fit. Obviously because the lens is in the wrong position, right? Um, Let's see how about other um, accessories. Like for example, I have this gimbal here. Uh, would that work? Hmm. It's obviously a little bit too big. It doesn't sink in. The, the GoPro sinks in. This one here doesn't. It's just tiny little bit too big. 
Okay, let me just strap it on there just to test and see what it can do. All right, just like that, maybe. Okay, let's see if it balances right. Yeah, it does the trick. So this is obviously working pretty well. Nice. Um, let's see. Let's try um, the Phantom Drone. Where let me get a little bit more space here. Where it sits here, right? So here we get the problem. We can't connect the connector because the connector goes now in the back and it's the wrong plug. It uses micro USB and this is, or this is mini USB and this is micro USB or the other way around. Um, so it doesn't work. The Probably we could do the same thing here. Let me try. Okay, well, I'm not quite sure if I would fly with that though, but uh, at least it's not in the way with something. Problem is you would need to have that. Let me see if the balance is working out. If I switch on my Phantom. That one works. No. Quite okay, the cable has a little bit of problem, but the rest works out pretty fair. Yeah, another nice advantage is if I look underneath here we have a tripod screw standard which definitely is gonna help so problem is I don't have a screen for it uh, I think there's nothing available yet and not even a housing came with it um, probably the things to mention is here is a microphone and on top seems to be as well another one while the GoPro also has one on top and one on the side here's the Wi-Fi button um, and we have one two three four indicative lights for shootings and then the front light here that kind of like shows us the battery power I guess after trying it a little bit I think I worked it out how it works um, switch it on with one push um, camera is ready um, now this little light on top is off um, if I make a firm push here then this light goes on so I think it means it's now in video mode because that seems to be a mode switch uh, button so now if I click on top I obviously starting video seems I'm shooting video now it's blinking happy ever um, stop the video and push one more one firm push this light goes off and I think if I push now yeah it shoots pictures so it really seems have only two modes that are usable not like the GoPro having um, a burst mode or a time-lapse mode 
um, maybe there's more in the software I haven't got uh, to the software yet it's uh, it's installed on my phone but I don't know how to connect um, the Wi-Fi of the camera um, I need to call up my friend who speaks Chinese and who obviously also bought one today yeah first impression I would say not bad it uh, weights about the same like a GoPro it has a good feel look easy to use um, probably lacks a couple of features stuff that the GoPro can that the E can't by the way I'm shooting this right now with the E camera um, I would say it's a good it's a good backup option let's look at the footage <laughs> 